My name is Mac Evangelista, and I'm the founder and lead innovator of Container Living. Container shipping moves 95% of all manufactured goods. Because of this, the ports of many import-driven countries are being filled with used shipping containers that will never be shipped back to their port of origin because it's too expensive. So from being a unit of international trade, shipping containers overcrowding in our ports now become an image of our inability to manufacture. Container Living took that image and created something more valuable. Into homes. Into commercial units. Into movable structures. Now why do we do this? Addressing the housing backlog remains to be a big challenge for the country. The Philippines isn't building enough homes. In 2017, the housing backlog is estimated to be at 5.7 million units. But even with our best efforts, this number is expected to grow to 10.1 million units by 2030. We have a very serious housing deficit. Also, did you know that the construction sector accounts for 39% of the carbon dioxide emitted in the atmosphere? Now, to reduce the environmental impact of the construction sector, it is essential that we outsource materials that does not require the use of fossil fuels and cause high carbon emissions. Container Living promotes the use of decommissioned shipping containers as the main building material for commercial and residential construction. Our deliverables include expandable building blocks made of Class B shipping containers. This allows us to build faster while using upcycled materials. We provide our products and services to developers, builders, governments, and end users to achieve greener construction faster execution, and stronger buildings of higher value. And as we focus on the B2B market, we are, we are partnering with property developers to reach a bigger and wider market. A market that is 4.8 million units in backlog, and a market that is big that is worth 2.5 trillion pesos. Container Living would like that 40% of this market within the next 10 years. Our revenue model is based on the markup system for both, for both materials and labor. We add a service fee to our cost. We also charge a professional fee for technical drawings and processing fee for the application of building permits and utilities. To scale, we will be selling licenses and franchise agreements. We have a total of 19 finished projects and have three ongoing projects with a total revenue of 43 million since 2014. Our gross revenue for the first quarter and second quarter of 2019 is at 16 million pesos. And by eliminating the use of concrete, we managed to save 351 tons of carbon dioxide. <coughs> this is equivalent to growing 5,804 trees over a period of 10 years. The container living construction process is three times faster than conventional builds. It is also 20% cheaper and can actually provide 65% more space than what is being actually offered in the property market. Container living is a construction, property, construction and property technology startup that is founded by female, by, by Container Living is a female-founded construction technology startup. Our team is composed of our team is composed of individuals with various experiences in environmental activism, engineering, construction, TV production, photojournalism, and real estate sales and marketing. But we couldn't have done everything without the help of Cerebro Labs and Kubo. We also had tremendous support from the Department of Trade and Industry and the Export Marketing Bureau. We are here on a mission and we need your help to expand our team, to build model homes, to patent the structural connections that we have developed, and to be able to facilitate a build now, pay later program. As a startup with no seed funding and very minimal marketing, these are what we have already achieved. But we didn't come this far to only get this far. We are determined to grow the company and scale. And with this, we would like to invite you to be a partner 
and our efforts in promoting sustainable living. Thank you. Um, so you were here last year too. Uh, how was your growth year on year? Okay, last year was not a very good year for us. Over, our, our revenue was only around 2 million pesos. And now for the first quarter and the second quarter of this year, that's 16 million for us. And also, um, since we are, we are focused now on building the company, we've also, uh, we were also able to get Mr. John Aguilar on board. He is currently the head of growth. And also we have partnered with organizations such as IKEA for a possible cooperation. And also with Team Manila for the development of the new products, the Team Manila Homes. We also partnered with WWF because we want to have a narrative for these numbers so that every time we partner with property developers, they can very much explain um, what the carbon dioxide savings are for. And um, WWF is, work, uh, is helping us with uh, uh, greenhouse gas emission accounting and inventory. Um, also, we are in talks with five property developers. And uh, if we continue to do that, um, we, are, we are positive that we can hit the targets. Also, we have collaborated with the school. Because if you're going to do projects as big as those, you need a steady flow of workforce. In partnering with Escuela Taller de Filipinas, which is actually a non-profit organization that helps women and out-of-school youth by providing them with scholarships um, for um, specialized skill sets like carpentry, masonry, um, welding, electrical, and plumbing, um, they, they, is, they will be the constant pool of our workers. So, just a clarification. You're a B2B business or B2B2C? B2B and B2C. Okay. We can also do B2C. Alright, next question is Have you tapped the NHA for, sort of for projects, development projects? Second is So the thing about containers, we do export them. So mm -hmm. if you're going Cebu, Manila, sometimes it's actually cheaper to do Cebu to Singapore. Mm -hmm. right? The shipping of containers is a concern for me. Like, How do you reduce that cost? Because if you want to go nationwide and grow, you need to fix those costs in a very um, sustainable manner. Okay, so this year um, we have managed to be uh, part of the JP Morgan Incubation Program. The reason behind is because we want DDI to be a part uh, of our study uh, in how to get hold of these shipping containers. Shipping containers right now, um, Southeast Asia is being tagged as the area where um, there are the lowest um, storage fees for the shipping containers. And um, we are actually looking into getting the sequestered shipping containers from the government and actually converting them into housing. Maybe the government can provide us uh, these shipping containers for free or we can actually get them at a lower price. So that will answer um, that part wherein we can, we can actually lower, still lower down our costs. Can you explain a little bit about the scalability of your products? Because from from my perspective, if you want to build more products, you need to hire more people. Your overhead costs like increase as well. So, what is the scalability uh, model, or what, what 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 is the scalability part of your product at the moment? Okay. Um, so, from being a contractor, perfecting the product needs uh, means that you have to build and build and build. So that side of the of the business model has already been achieved. So we've managed to build um, more than 10 projects with that. Now, we are actually pivoting towards providing full-scale full scale service, meaning we can actually provide um, uh, project development, master planning, um, construction, of course, and also sales and marketing. Um, 